Hi, this is Tom Dixon. I'm the host and founder of the Financial Experts Network, and thanks for joining to learn how to buy U.S. Treasury Series I bonds electronically. Now, there are two ways that you can buy U.S. Treasury Series I bonds. One is you can actually use your tax refund dollars to buy up to $5,000 for every year for each tax return that you do or you submit. And then in addition to that, again, on an annual basis, you have the ability to buy up to $10,000 for every Social Security number or taxpayer ID you have. So, and I spell that out because if you're a couple, you actually, again, each of you could buy $10,000 a year of Series I bonds each year by going to the treasurydirect.gov site. And as I think many of you know, the U.S. Uh, series uh, I bonds are yielding 9.62% a year. That's an annual interest rate, and that, that rate is reset every six months, and it's tied to inflation. But as of May 1st, 2022, it was yielding, it is yielding 9.62%. So, so how do you buy the bonds? You want to go to treasurydirect.gov. And once you go to treasurydirect.gov, that's their homepage, in the upper right-hand part of the screen under account login, you want to find Treasury Direct where that red arrow is and click on that. It's a hyperlink. Once you click on it, you will then see this page. In the upper left-hand corner under Treasury Direct 4 dot, 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 click on the term individual individual so you're going to click on that and then again you will have this screen presented to you uh, it's in the account center section of the site and under treasury direct where i have that arrow again you are going to click on open an account once you click on open an account again it's going to take you to this screen so this is really the first step that you have to do is you have to open an account before you can actually purchase the bond. So we have to start by opening an account. So again, on this screen, you have to click on Treasury Direct, that where I have that red arrow. Again, it's a hyperlink. It will take you to this screen, and it's a, it's a little bit of a multi-step process. But once you do, you'll see this screen, and at the bottom of the screen, you then click on Apply Now. Once you click on apply now, we're getting warmer. So from here, you have one of three account types, individual or second type is business or organization, and third is a state or trust. It's most likely going to be, you're going to click on individual because you're buying them in your individual name with your individual social security number. However, please know if you have companies where you have another taxpayer ID, uh, for that company or entity, you could buy additional bonds in the name of those companies tied to those taxpayer IDs. Or if you have a trust account, the same idea is true. So if you have an interest in buying more than ten or fifteen thousand dollars a year, and again you have these other entities, it's possible to do that by setting up multiple accounts using those additional taxpayer IDs. But for our purposes, let's assume that again you're buying individual. Uh, through the individual account type. Here's your first uh, input screen, if you will. You'll have to enter your name, uh, social security number, date of birth, your address, a phone number, and email. So all of your demographic information, let's call it. Once you do that, and I cut this into two screens just to make it a little bigger, this will also be on that input screen, and this is very important. The bank information will, will really be uh, the information for, for the bank that you're going to use to buy the bond. So where, where are you holding the money that you're going to use to buy those Series I bonds? That's the bank information, the bank name, the account number, routing number that you want to use in that section. Make sure you, you do that. Don't use another bank that may be your regular checking account or some other bank. You want to use the bank that you're going to use to buy the bonds where, where that money is being held. Now, once you, you're going to have to certify that all the information is accurate and correct, you click on submit after you do that. And then uh, guess what? You're... Now we assume you have an account set up. You'll have a, literally a login ID to the treasurydirect.gov site. You'll have an account number. 
uh, a password. And then once you have that, only once you have that, you then have the ability to buy the bonds. You'll have to log into your account and then you'll see this screen with that main menu bar up top. From there, you want to click on buy direct. And after you click on buy direct, you then see this as your first screen for the purchase transaction. You'll want to look in the second section of this screen under savings bonds and the second option there that's labeled Series I. You want to click on that radio button and once you do that, you then have this screen and you're doing really two things here. One, you're entering the amount of bonds you want to buy and again, it can be up to $10,000 per year per social security number. And then two, do you want to buy all the bonds at once or you actually could uh, make purchases over some period of time, whatever you like, and that would be the repeat purchases. So you have to make that decision. I'm guessing most of you will do it all at once. So you would just enter the, the date that you'd like to have these bonds uh, purchased. And again, it'll have to be a business day and it'll have to be a future date. Uh, and then once you've done that, you will click on submit. And then from there, you will then see the uh, review screen, which is uh, your check and balance. So you want to just review this, make sure the amount was correct, the purchase date, the source of funds again is that bank and make sure that's all accurate. And then you click on submit. And once you've done that, we're we're now we're 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 done. You will get a confirmation. You make sure you see this confirmation screen. That's the only way that you know that you actually purchased the bonds. So from there, uh, hopefully, again, you've made your purchase. Everything has worked out smoothly for you. Now, I hope you found today's uh, brief video to be helpful. If so, please uh, click on the like button. Click on that bell to get notice of upcoming videos that we're going to continue posting and of course I hope you subscribe we are posting brief educational videos like this on a regular basis and uh, of course you're welcome to visit financialexpertsnetwork.com to see uh, learn more about what we do so with that again I wish you the best of luck with this transaction